basketball coverage is sponsored by Buick, proud partner of the NCAA. Geico, you could save even more by bundling home and car insurance. And by Papa John's new epic stump crust. We did it. Last time the Hogs were 9-0, they went on to win it all under Nolan Richardson, beating Duke in Charlotte in the final. And now Eric Musselman in his second season as Arkansas head coach, 9-0 again. Also the last SEC regular season title in 94. For the Missouri Tigers, Xavier Pinson gets it started. Hanzo Martin says he needs to play better today. The big wrinkle for Arkansas, Justin Smith is out with the ankle injury, so that means Devontae. Devo Davis into the starting lineup, the freshman from Jacksonville, Arkansas. Conzo Martin in his fourth season leading Missouri. An incredibly tough schedule. They've defeated Oregon and Illinois, but a big loss to Tennessee on Wednesday. It is time for a bounce back, Bill Raftery. A good Tennessee, a Tennessee team as well. Carter, Blackburn right now. Arkansas goes a little. Maybe. I'm glad you got that in, Bill, because you might have uh, might not have another chance to talk exactly. today. It's uh, potentially action-packed if Ooh. Mizzou can do just that. Get to the rim, Pinson to Tillman. And that's what Pinson has to do. Play within himself, be solid. The ball screen dive by the big fella. Zero assists in the Tennessee loss. And Conzo Martin says we cannot have that happen again. 15 seconds in, already Pinson has an assist. A little nickel dime here. And give away, I think that was Drew Smith. It is on with the Drew tag. Smith. Nice ball screen. Tillman diving strong. Pretty athletic move, but once again, the ability to control the bounce. And watching all the perimeter people from Missouri occasionally get a little bit too deep. They've got to learn to jump stop. Arkansas does a great job picking up charges. Great sign for the Tigers because Tillman has played big in their big wins. This is Moody. A lot of quick hitters. This kid can shoot it from deep. Seven foot three. <laughs> nice and then it's Missouri on the run again. Blocked at the rim. Getting back. Moses Moody. Tillman sticks with it. Van over. Gets the personal foul. Tillman hustling. Moody hustling right back with him. Impressive, though. Tillman getting up and down the floor. Getting in position to dominate. Just didn't really get his balance on this one. Didn't handle the ball cleanly. But once again, uh, talked about the many things that Moody can do. Does not give up on plays. Really a promising individual. Talented kid. That is a big first personal foul on Connor Vanover because without Justin Smith at 6'7", Moody has to play bigger today. And but Connor Vanover has to avoid foul trouble. He gets his first less than a minute in. Everything about him is big, as you well know. Yes. I know you want to pay for his clothing. Obviously, a little, a little expensive. But this is a team that plays, as Eric told us, in pods. So he doesn't mind mixing and matching, sometimes small, sometimes a mixer. Tillman has the first four for Missouri. He had 11 and nine in the win over Oregon. And the first four points. Arkansas will fire from long range all day. Benson pushes Mizzou. Hot start for the Tigers after they were ice cold versus Tennessee in the loss. Now that's a nice little bit over there. Good control by Drew Smith as he got to the lane. Moody sets him up. A lot of pick and pop, nice Ooh. cut. Oh, what a great screen. By the weak side. And he went in, getting the start. Davis that time. Devontae Davis, first bucket, first start of his Razorback career. Justin Smith expected out three to six weeks. Surgery on the right ankle that he injured. Wednesday versus Tennessee. Brown on the floor, really an excellent rebounder. You don't want him settling for threes. This is where they got to work through. Nice little rake. Davis takes it away end to end. That's what got him in the starting five. Offense and defense from Davis. And now Moody. Bad miss. Tigers on the run again. And Arkansas does a really nice job. They don't necessarily have to double. Do a good job shading and helping down the postman. Benson lost the handle. Davis poked it away. There's Devontae Davis disrupting again. And sending Arkansas on the run, so it's Moody who tracks it down. Fighting for it, Kobe Brown. And somewhere in there... I think they're going to say it's out of bounds. Smith on the end line and touched the basketball. Here's the back ball. 
Just interesting, the perimeter guys are such a great, why don't you describe this? Uh, you're a man of words. Everybody's on the deck, that's what I can tell you. A mixed batch of things, and then the rundown eventually stepping on the end line. Great play by play. Uh, I mean, wonderful. Radio. Uh, Pick a guy that brings some energy to the floor. I really like this kid. You do some good damage. 14 against Illinois in the bragging rights game. Here comes another Smith for Mizzou. Mitchell Smith, the fifth-year senior who is from Van Buren, Arkansas. I would you like to be a desk guy at a hotel and they <laughs> sign it? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Nice step back. Hey, evens it up. That's the kid. That's the killer right there. Does it all. Drive to turn around, jumper, tax. Terrific defender. Just got to stay out of foul trouble. He is relentless. Jalen Tate, grad transfer from Northern Kentucky. This is Pickett all the way to the rim with the left hand, Javon Pickett. He just attacks. Great attitude. It was a 4 nothing start for Missouri. All four from Jeremiah Tillman. Arkansas out of the horn set with Moody back into the hands of Tate. Just a little clear out. Not able to get a quick hitters because of the terrific defense by Mizzou. Takes to Van Over. Bothered and blocked Smith. by Mitchell Smith. You're always safe if you say Smith. 6'10. <laughs> oh, travel by Smith. I, I don't think he I don't think he realized he was that wide open. Uh, just the ability to make shots so important with excellent defenders like this. This step back. This kid has some game. Plays with so much confidence. Little dribble drive and pick it with the right ticket to the 10. Three early turnovers by, by Missouri. Arkansas coming off a commanding road win at Auburn. There's a lot of questions. How good is this Arkansas team? They put 97 on the road. They are capable of scoring with anybody anywhere. As he sells with a great look there. This kid can do a lot of things for that team, too. Mark Smith, floater, gives it up. Pick it. Great defense. Out of bounds, and Missouri will keep it. Plenty of time to work with, too. Williams with a great denial. Individual defense on both of these teams is excellent. A little three-quarter. Just staying on the proper side. Great coordination and great recognition on the weak side by these both of these teams. Jalen Williams, he's 6'10", freshman star player, Northside High School, and yet he gets on the floor. He takes charges. He's, I mean, he's a guy that Eric Musselman loves, with the effort and energy. It's amazing how we can put a team together, isn't it? One of every level. Smith, holds away. There's Williams on the deck. Same guy. And they've got a lot of guys that do those type of contributions. Davis, the freshman, sets it up. Jalen Tate, Williams in the corner. Do a great job of stepping and going when you overplay. Lote, the sixth man who heats it up, misses his first look. You call him the Vinny Johnson, right? The microwave. Yeah, for Musselman's Chuck Daly days, right? Yeah. Cut off by Williams on the baseline. Feed inside for Kobe Brown, 24. Boy, look at Eric out there. <laughs> he didn't like the defensive scheme that trip. I'd like to see Brown around that rim a little bit more. A little settled by Sills, I think, from deep. Air ball from Desi. Mark Smith lost it on the deck again. Jalen Williams. Got a foul, I think. Yeah, it sure Over the is. Mitchell Smith. Oh, the Hogs and the Tigers both getting on the floor and both bringing the energy early. Uh, absolutely. Terrific defense on both sides. Quick hands. And giving it all up. I'm a dick for the loose ball. Tomorrow on CBS, escape to L.A. and solve a few mysteries with LL Cool J and Chris O'Donnell. Watch a new episode of the CBS original series, NCIS Los Angeles, tomorrow on CBS. Big Arkansas news of the day is not good. Justin Smith, surgery on the right ankle, injured Wednesday, so the grad transfer from Indiana out three to six weeks. How does that impact the Hawks? Big size problem. Of course, he was taking a lot of threes, too, which were as successful as they would like. But, you know, a kid that's really aggressive around the rim, good defender. You have to be a good defender. That means Moses Moody at 6'6 has to play. The but this is where Arkansas lived last year. Moody can face up and light it.
it up. That ends an Arkansas scoring drought. He just has had to get available. Last year they played with 6'6 six, six and under, so they can go small ball. And when you have a 7'3 guy, Vando, he can't really call it all that small, can you? They do it well. Great job deflecting, though. Get a little bit of a run out using the ball, the entire floor. Jalen Tate over Mitchell Smith, boarded by Pickett. A little bit of a settle. Once in a while, they get stuck on one side of the floor, Arkansas. Xavier Pinson, pull off, floater goes. That is big because Pinson has to play well to get the Tigers back on track. Uh, he's the kind of a kid that can go wire to wire on the open floor, but also at the rim. He has not been able to finish. Played well versus Arkansas last year. Into the corner. Moody can't hit it this time, and a foul against the Razorbacks. Looks like it's on Davis. Davis it is. Yeah, His first. So for Missouri, I mean, the, the two wins, extremely impressive. Beat Oregon and Omaha, and then Illinois, who is a Final Four contender. And then, yeah, it didn't go so well against Tennessee. Uh, you know, a couple of years ago, he was really half court, almost like his Purdue mentor, mm -hmm. uh, Gonzo's days at Purdue. But now they're getting up and down a little bit, competing a little bit. Because that was a neutral site game with Oregon over in Omaha. Condo said Gene Cady got us upset with him because his team is scoring more than the 40s and the 50s, right? Uh, really good nice pass, though. So over help. And another hammer for Tillman. That's six in the game for Tillman. Well, they really did a great job communicating on those low rubs. Jeremiah Tillman had the first four for Mizzou. This is largest lead for the Tigers. Nice hesitation. Reach in foul on Brown. A yeah, little nickel dimer by Brown. Trying to be physical with Moody. Just the ability to draw a lot of people. Really not communicate. They had done a nice job on the initial post bumps, but Tillman wisely getting to the rim. Nice little step through. The patience that delivered on the money. You know, Conzo Martin saying even though it's been a Bad couple of games offensively, he wasn't all that worried. He thought that it was a wake-up call, yes, Tennessee, but not too worried about, especially offense. He just was very impressed with them, too. Was great defense. Individual containment by Tennessee was extraordinary. Who touched it last? And it will be Missouri ball. And they put Pickett in the game. He was talking about putting Watson in early, giving him a little, but Pickett really does some nice things. A lot of energy. We saw that nice little step through bounce pass at the other end. His drive to the rim as well. Our officials, Doug Chow's Terry Weimer, Gerald Williams. Do a lot of ball screen slipping. Benson. Nice find. There's Pickett. Boarded by Vano. Oh, you're right. Nice little dribble drive. Solid decision by Pinson. Here's Vanover who can handle it. Vanover takes the bump, keeps the dribble alive, and now he wants it on the block. And Tillman, that Tillman should be the, the king down low here. Vanover, that Tillman, exactly that, though, forced him off the block. Right? Absolutely. Outside, I would think a little pick and pop might work. Move Tillman around a little bit. Triple won't go. Mark Smith. So now it's Moody pushing Arkansas and a foul in transition. That goes on Pickett. That is his first. And Moody really is aggressive, really understands the game, too. This plays within the scheme of things. Looks like a perfect teammate. And that is now 14 fouls on Missouri. So that is a cause for concern for the Tigers. Absolutely. A lot of time left and a half. Pickett gets a little bit of a blow. Solid contributions. I think the Tennessee game was a wake-up call for Missouri. How far you have to go. Nice little curl here. Kick it back, Tate. It's six straight misses now for Arkansas. Haven't scored in almost three minutes. Hands it. Oh! Floats it, and there's another hammer follow from Tillman. Well, when you overhelp, you bear the basket. Tillman wisely at the rim. Vince has got to get better finishing at the rim, though. He's terrific getting in the lane. Zills into the corner. No Tay. 
down the baseline, draws another foul on Missouri. Jeremiah ready to roll. Ooh, ready. Are you going to sing it? Mm. Jeremiah was a bull. Might get on the road again later, uh, Bill. Once again, you see that over out of position, trying to block the shot. You can't get down and check out. And Tillman, that big body. Good for the mind. Early. Burger or grilled cheese? Grilled cheese. Very good. He's making his son, Jeremiah the third proud of the way dad's attacking the rim. Yeah, he's St. Louis, a little connection with Coach Martin, but the ability to dominate. They've got him up to 24 minutes. Uh, if he can play just a little bit longer and stay out of foul problems, the only weakness he really has is the free throw shooting and maybe a little bit of stamina, but he has been excellent in reading drives, getting available, whether it's a finish or an open area. And that graphic tells you he has outscored Arkansas. Eight for Tillman, seven for the Razorbacks. Over three minutes without scoring for Arkansas, and that ends at the foul line from J.D. Note. Tillman had the foot injury last year, cost him half a season, and it feels like he is just now mm -hmm. getting back into the shape. And Arkansas, too, likes those quick hitters, and Missouri makes you take a little bit of time to get impatient on the offensive end. Note gets them both. He had 21 at Auburn, 19 of them in the second half. So even without Justin Smith, Eric Musselman wants to bring him off the bench because you get down early, Note can give you a lift. Pretty good job rolling up there on the baseline. Drew Smith attacks. Long this time, Vanover backs off and steals it. Pretty good job. He had the shot, should have taken it. Note struck by Drew Smith. Tigers on the run. Henson pushes. Takes it at Vanover, and now a find into the corner for Mark Smith. Moody clears it. Boy, a nice pass, nice patience. Stepping into those threes. Moody steps into that one for Arkansas. But as that stretch, the D opens up the ability to cut and post up. Just the second made three for Arkansas. And they are capable of getting hot. I think you got to use Tillman down in that box. Watson, another deflection. Tillman may have gotten away with steps. Razorback fans think so. Drew Smith, Vanover takes it away again. A better pass. And now Tate throws it right back to Mizzou. They got numbers if they want. Henson, here's Tillman, and tight and one, Jeremiah Tillman. Tillman doing the Will Chamberlain impersonation. Not going down the other end. It's a successful snowbird for Jeremiah. Absolutely. A little chippy honey. And right here, just sloppy in the open floor. Good hustle, good understanding to give up. And once again, Pinson has just been solid. He's solid. They're a different basketball team. Tell me. Emphatic at the room. 10 of Mizzou's 16 from Jeremiah Tillman Jr., like Bill pointed out, from East St. Louis, as is Conzo. He sniffed around the NBA a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. He certainly sure. did. And then, uh, smart. Famously, Conzo Warren and Lafonso Ellis combined for two state titles for Lincoln High School. How about that? And Tillman at the free throw line. Make it. Hey! does a nice job resting him, too. Space in his minutes. 11 of the 17 from Tillman. That's a uh, well deserved rest for Absolutely. Jeremiah. Mitchell Smith uh, and over really a good defender right there. No he is a bucket machine, that kid. Pick it down the baseline, cut off. Henson lines it up. Rebound one by Sills. Running the Razorbacks. Desi drops it off for Vanover. That is blocking foul called. On Mitchell Smith, his second. That pass led Van over to a possible charge. But the ability to make plays in the open floor. Sills with the find, and whether you like the call or not, how about the pretty good defensive stand? Reed by Mitchell Smith that time. Outside the arc, but in the official's judgment, a little bit late for Mitchell Smith. So even that play, though, you, you got to finish that, don't you think? Van sure. Over? Sure. I mean, that's, and, and I think it's one of the reasons why Eric Musselman brought it out to us. He was sick some before the season started and lost some weight, so he's trying to put it back on. But certainly, I mean, Vanover can do just about everything, but 
maybe some more muscle around he's, he's not going to the weight room, I don't think, but uh, he can pick and pop, make that shot. He's a good passer, good feel for the game. His twin brothers, Brandon and Justin, also well, seven feet seven feet. Feet. Right, yeah, Justin in the Bama band. So he's happy that the saxophone player, happy with the tide. A 10-3 run as Arkansas charges back behind a pair of made threes and Connor Vanover. This building would be rocking under normal circumstances. It's a great facility. Missouri is only one once here. Two steps. Now Pickett sure did. Gravel giving right back to the Razorbacks and a chance for Arkansas to take the lead. That is now eight Missouri turnovers. Actually going a little too quick on the dribble drive. He just gets his feet jumbled up a little bit, but I like his attitude. Pickett, very forceful by nature. I mean, some of the numbers for Mizzou, I mean, it has been a very tough schedule, but to get to number 12 and 6 and 1 when you have more turnovers than assists on the year. And Ote really good with the bounce. Must contain your own. Ote in the paint. Throws it in reverse. That kid has a great field, doesn't he? Arkansas on top for the first time. Terrific off the bounce. He's got a step back game as well. Brown backing in and facing up Colby Brown. Uh, you know, I think he could be a good mid-range shooter. Wait for that three to develop. Excellent rebounder as well. His dad, Greg Brown, coached him at Lee High School. His brother Caleb signed the Tigers next year out of Huntsville, Alabama. Note deep three. He has the freedom to take it. He's got to make it. He's got a green light. No yellow. Ball to the Hawaii transfer, drops it off inside, and another interior bucket for Jeremiah Tillman. Well, we talked about containing the dribble. If you don't, you're going to pay mightily. Stepping up to help, little slip pass, head up, just terrific attention to detail. Tillman with great eye vision and a finish. 13 of the 21 now, Jeremiah Tillman. Uh, Bugs a guy that has done it before in a while. He led them an assist. Nice little feel for the game. This is a season high for Jeremiah Tillman, and he adds one more. So make it 14 of the first 22 from Missouri for Jeremiah Tillman. The 6'10 senior at the game's first four points. Van over. Back to back misses from three for the Razorbacks in same, same, same gotta fumble. Get, gotta communicate. I got it. Let it go. But a lot of coaches are happy when they are involved like that. Like us taking game. it to break, Bill. Exactly. Or when the check comes, I might add, too. <laughs> little fumbleitis here and there. <laughs> it uh, bugs you when that happens, by the way. Rip it up and pass it to uh, Eric Musselman. That's the answer. <laughs> Man over off the shot pick. You have to respect it even though he hadn't made it. Moody baseline draws another foul on Mizzou, and that's now 17 fouls on the Tigers. I don't think they gave that to Tillman. That's a bad one for him. Man over had actually a good look, better look that time, and passed it up. It is on Brown, and it's his second. So that means Mitchell Smith has two, and Kobe Brown has two. The fouls have been relatively spread out for Missouri, but Arkansas in the bonus already. Who <laughs> gets the first? Monday on CBS, Stephen Colbert returns with new shows for 2021 and pretends 2020 never happened. The Late Show, new Monday on CBS. I really enjoyed watching Moody. I know Jimmy Dykes does a lot of their mm -hmm. games. I've heard him, he's alarmed with his talent and this is a kid that has all the aspects deep middle at the rim north little rock high school state title they beat actually isaiah joe's north side high school joe now for the sixers it was mason jones and isaiah joe carrying the load last year for an undersized team hence into the rim under control mm -hmm. take to a trailing williams but again, that's what Arkansas lives with. Yeah, absolutely. The quick hitters. Got a cut. Just spacing out on the ball screen. 
And Williams did a pretty good job that time. Not showing, protecting the rim. Tate. Temple. Got one tail to play on. He played a little dribble drive kick. Brother Jay Sean played at Ohio State, now with the Rockets, with Mason Jones. Dad Jermaine, Ohio State, and Cincy, and Jalen continuing the fallen family tradition. You want to be sound, don't gamble if you're Arkansas. Keep everybody in front of you. No one wants it again, why not? Instead, three and a foul called. Fouling the jump shooter, that will send Mark Smith to the line. Four, three. That's painful. Six on the shot clock. Oh. Hey, and after a painful year, aren't we glad? New music, new year, 2021. With Raft. At Fidelity, you get personalized wealth planning. Jeremiah Tillman, the Tiger. He has really played well, got in the right spot to dominate. Hanging around that rim with a dribble drive and find him. Nice little turn square up. Delity off of those two feet to finish the deal. Boy, he is ready to play. A season high 14 points for them from the free throw line. And look at the three point numbers for Missouri. They haven't been shooting the three well, so just four three attempts and they have the lead. And they weren't bad ones either. There were step ins or kicks to get their feet organized. But how about this conference this year? We saw what Tennessee could do. You know, Florida, uh, much Mississippi State a little bit. Some really solid basketball teams that can do some damage. LSU, we're going to see later Thomas, tonight. Right? Oh, my goodness. Leading scorer in the history of that great prep school. Hey, speaking of, uh, our director, Mark Grant, going into the LSU Hall of Distinction. Right oh, congratulations. The beloved Mark Grant. He's our producer today is Bill Thayer. Mark was good to show us around Baton Rouge and New Orleans over the course of our careers. Mm -hmm. He liked a little spicier than I did, <laughs> so I had a lot of lemonade with it. He, he doesn't do a bland chicken breast <laughs> no. to Mr. Rafferty's liking, does he? Pound it real thin? He thinks there's something wrong with me. Well, uh, really a great, solid job helping to recovering here. Missouri, very good weak side defense. Look how they get in the lane, slap, deflect. And then Tillman gets it started by sliding over, and Mark Smith draws a foul on the other end, but defensively well executed Absolutely. by Missouri. Being in the right spot, getting the hands in the right position. And boy, that Euro step has developed into a terrific weapon. But here, uh, Tillman not fouling, being in the right spot. And here we go. One of the Smith brothers. Mark this time. For Missouri, 10 made baskets, eight of them in the paint, and the Tigers are executing the game plan on the road at Arkansas very well. I get the feeling they heard the message this team, Missouri, from Kwanzaa. Good shots, penetration, not getting too deep without a good decision, particularly with Pinson. He's been terrific early. Kwanzaa called it a wake-up call. He also said, if they want to run, we'll run with them. That's his game. Chris will get a phone call from Gene Cady over here. <laughs> if he hasn't already. A little double and slip. Dote attacks in the paint. Floater. That's a blocking foul again. This one is on Mark Smith. Well, both of these clubs are so well coached. Stepping in, being in position. I thought Smith was there on time. And maybe slid a little bit. Oh, that's pretty good defense, I thought. I think they're going to give Moody more touches to this team. All very confident, offensive-minded guys, but you've got a really sensational player that makes great decisions. First foul on Smith, and now eight fouls on Missouri. This is shooting for JT Note. We mentioned the Vinnie Johnson microwave comparison, but Eric Musselman, the former Chuck Daly assistant, uh, it was nice for you to visit with Eric about your well, man Chuck he has been all over when you think of it NBA head coach with the Kings Golden State Warriors of course I knew his dad well who was just a phenomenal basketball coach at Ashland then the first father-son combo with the Timberwolves in NBA history yeah. excellent coach and the Reno Bighorns maybe the best minor league basketball team of all time is Eric Musselman 
Set of Jeremy Lin, Hassan Whiteside, among others. In this game, Xavier Penson hits the first three of the game for Mizzou. But they got to the lane, collapsed the defense. He got them organized. Moody spins in tight, rejected by Drew Smith. Give it Mark up. Mark Smith does, oh, and then goodness. Penson throws it away. Oh, goodness. He's going to get that stare from the sideline. Just an easy layoff pass. You got a deuce. Why the flare here? Just give it back. Mm. I'm not going to say how long it's been since you've coached, but you still, <laughs> that's you still have it. I mean, no, that's aggravating. Yeah. They're reaching for the tums right now. Uh, now. Nowadays, kids won't say want something to one another. In the old days, you'd say, hey, what the heck are you doing? See if you can make up for it now. Benson behind the screen and now into the corner. Pick it. Set up his teammate. Mm -hmm. He couldn't get it out. Davis had the first bucket for Arkansas in his first start. Arkansas. And the five because of Justin Smith's injury. They're not as quick on the offensive end. Not getting their quick hitters. Moody attacks, another blocking foul. Nine team fouls on Mizzou. Doug Chow's has that one. Tomorrow at 4 Eastern, over on CBS Sports Network, we have Patriot League action as Lehigh takes on Lafayette on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Good to be on the road again, Mr. Bill. Uh, Thank you, Willie. How's that, how's that one go? Willie Nelson. <laughs> Chris, a lot of people haven't been back on the road again. It's so next year, or this year, now, is a more positive one for everybody. It's been terrible. First of three on the road to the final four today on CBS. 30 to 24, and we might just be getting started with scoring in this one in the end to end. And yes, it feels very much like a Missouri versus Arkansas. The home team has won the last nine in this series, mm -hmm. including split home home last year. Really great free throw shooter, too. Key, I think, when you play them is keep him off the foul line. Davis guarding Penson. An interesting little bunch of bumps on the baseline, well covered. The cutter is being chucked. Nine to shoot. Penson gives it up. Drew Smith into the corner. Watson for three. Boarded by Tillman. Fighting for the rebound and a foul called on Jalen Tate, his second personal, but it's because Jeremiah Tillman has been a it. man on the boards. I think I'm going to let that one go, though. Tate really caught in a tenuous position. Tillman was about to walk or step on the baseline. Goodness, he, if anything, initiated the contact, but a tough call. For an excellent performer, he does get some fouls because of his aggressive behavior, but you can't take that relentless play away from him. So, with Smith on the bench in the boot, Tate gets his second, and here's a familiar song. Jeremiah Tillman, a chance at the free throw line. Rare miss, but then Mark Smith runs it down. Quick to the ball. Oh, yeah. man. Hence it in tight. Watson tries it again. That's 0 for 2 off the bench for Watson. But the way they're missing those corner threes, they should be, Arkansas should be able to get some run outs. Only one minute Pretty. shot in the last five for Arkansas. Van over two misses. Howard dribbled back up. Three misses. Finally, Davis there to bail him out. Boy, Van over very fortunate to get that ball back. He's got to complete the deal. Drew Smith. That's offensive. And it is his second personal foul. Really good footwork by JD Note. Mizzou hanging on by two on the road at Fayetteville. Our new house is amazing. Great. Header in in the final week of the regular season playoff berth. Still up for grabs. Key early games. Browns and Dolphins. Later, huge matchup. Cardinals and Rams. While the Colts and Titans hope to cement their postseason spot. Plenty of scenarios still in play. We'll get you familiar with all of them on the NFL today at noon Eastern. Sunday on CBS. In the playoff picture, not pictured the Cardinals, but a win over the Rams.
Yes, Kyler Murray and the Cardinals are in. Jim, Tony, Tracy have it for you. 4.25 Eastern time. Uh, Moody, Note, and Sills have to start going a little bit now. Then a little walk on the crossover move. Mm. Got to be Salah Davis. The first of three today on the road to the final four. You're on CBS. Well, Eric Musselman, this is not the offensive explosion that he was looking for. I mean, Missouri hadn't scored in two and a half minutes either, but Arkansas, not really the zip we've seen offensively from the Razorbacks. Zip this, says Jalen Williams. Nice play on the dribble drive. Good aggressive maneuver at the rim. This is one of their pods. They're real small here. Good footwork. Get the help from the big fella. Blooming large. Talking about Pinson making really good decisions here. He's terrific. Getting into that three-second lane. Benson and Tillman in the two-man game on the side. So good clear. Little baby hook. And finally, Arkansas stops Tillman around the rim. Brown runs it down. Brown follows up. Kobe Brown sticking with it the whole way. That kid is a terrific offensive rebounder. An Arkansas team that had 97 on Wednesday at Auburn. Shooting just 28% so far in this one. A little bit off their game, but I think Missouri's defense has been great. Tillman, the great negator at the rim that particular trip. Trying to mix and match Arkansas now with their foul problems and inability to score. Hanover's had some real struggles. Davis on the wing. He's going to give it back to Desi Sills, who hasn't scored yet in the game. Sills is one of those attack guys. Got to get him going a little bit. No take. Gives it into the hands of Sills. And another miss. Neither Sills nor Vanover has made a bucket in the game. The offense. It is. The pass led him. Unfortunate for Smith. And that is second on Smith. Now right here, this pass is the problem. You gotta look ahead, see the defense, have good recognition. Don't lead your teammate to problems. So the foul is beginning to mount now for Missouri. That is two on Drew Smith, two on Mark Smith, two on Pickett. And it is trouble for the Tigers. In fact, all three of the Smiths have two fouls. Mitchell, Drew, and Mark. I think Missouri's defense has been excellent, but Arkansas, on the other hand, has really not been themselves, not the flow you're accustomed to watching. In the corner, it's Kobe Brown. Bugs inside. Foul called on Note, trying to get inside to Tillman again. Yeah, Tillman didn't really seal his guy. Tough angle for the pass. Coming up on 18 and a half. Adam Zucker, Clark Kellogg, and Seth Davis break down our first half and bring you highlights of the day's other big games. That is coming up on at and at the half. And what a half it has been for Jeremiah Tillman Jr. Already season high with 14 points for Missouri. Although he has missed the last couple of free throws. Brown with a little reach in going the other way. Yeah. Conzo's done a great job getting them in a few days. Different looking team. He's done a season's excellent continuum. Not able to turn the corner. It really makes a bad decisions. And how about that foul on Kobe Brown? Is his third. So that is monumental for Mizzou. Minute 50 to go in the half. And Kobe Brown, your starting power forward, gets his third personal foul. A real cheapy, too. Like some spare change, maybe? <laughs> His judgment, not the referees. Tillman so because they're coming out and get that little blow. Not this time. No. So pick it back in at 6-5. So Missouri plays a little bit smaller with Brown in foul trouble. See if they step up the defense a little bit. Got to make it to set it. 
Moody, Arkansas's leading scorer. The freshman averaging 17 a game, nine in the first half to lead the way for the Razorbacks, but it's been Sills and Vanover who have struggled offensively for Arkansas. Got to done a nice job on the post defense. Williams on that little cross on the foul line. Little double. Bugs floats it. Tough one. Rebounded by Watson right back up, and he draws a foul. That's Terrence Watson, the junior who had played only 41 minutes total coming into this game, but Conzo says they wanted to get him more run. With all those foul troubles, they're going to need Terrence Watson. They think he's a three, good three-point shooter. I think he's played every game in his career. He was the one guy they thought could light it up if necessary. Torrance Watson, the junior from St. Louis Whitfield High School. So Torrance misses. That was the second personal foul on Jalen Williams. Hit eight threes in a game. It was versus Chicago State his freshman year, but Conzo Martin says, hey, look, if you can hit eight threes, we need to get you in the game, especially with some shooting woes of late from Missouri. Hey, I, I know it's Arkansas, no disrespect to Chicago State, but if you have that potential. It was disrespectful, by the way. <laughs> but he had 154 attempts last year, 121 were threes. So I think that's the scouting report on it. Missouri has seven made threes off the bench this year total. Yeah. So their defense has been excellent. Mizzou, everybody containing. Moody with less than a minute to go. Sills. Sills takes a big bump and earns a trip to the free throw line. It will be a chance to end the over scoring half for Desi. Might be bugs. Someone was there too. Got, but he got the big guy. Just uh, got it from behind there. No way he was going to make that shot. This kid's got some juice, doesn't they? You know, and Desi, we talk about the, the silver linings of what we've all been through the past year. Desi said, rediscovered the love for the game when it went away. The shutdown and the quarantine in the spring. He said, you know, I was kind of getting burned out on basketball. And when it went away, it fired him back up to get back on the floor. Coaches love to hear that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As long as you get it back, right? Yeah, exactly. You don't need the words, you need the commitment. Oh! And Desi finally able to score from the foul line. Two for two from the free throw line, first two points of the game. Now they've got to feel good though. They've not played well by their standards, and so, you know, they're hanging right there. Tight as we expected between the Tigers and the Red Hot Razorbacks. Bonds may have gotten away with one that he travels, so he gives it right back. And Arkansas potentially chance for two for one. They almost had that flagrant one, two at the end of this particular play. Watch the elbow on at the end of this. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Wow. They got the walk before, unfortunately for him. KK Robinson got the worst of that one. 12 first half turnovers by Mizzou. They had 21 versus Tennessee against five assists in the game. And, and sure enough, here goes Doug Chows to take a look at that elbow. With 41, it'd be tough to get two for one uh, once they get, uh, get the ball. But that's excellent individual defense. You mentioned KK being in the right spot. And there's that turn. It could be called a basketball play, really. But the way they call anything, shoulder and above, Nice little selling job as well. Would you deem that excessive in nature and or unnecessary? Well, I would. Your attitude on occasion is excessive. <laughs> you know, and I, unnecessary. I, 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 uh, I guess by the rule it could be deemed that. But I, I don't think there was intent and maliciousness. But I think we're all in agreement flagrant two is out. Yeah. I mean, that's what J.D. Collins... I think they're going to give him a flagrant one. Let's see. There was no flagrant foul. Okay, common. I like that. Still get the common foul. And it's still a turnover, but no F1. And play ball for the Razorbacks. Yeah, a little smile by Pinson. Why not? He's played solid basketball. Now you're thinking stop and maybe get one going the other way. Note attacks cut off by Tillman. Great off the bounce, this kid. Gets past Pinson to the rim. Tillman has the board. 
Shot clock turned off. I'm gonna go the last one. Well, it's Bugs, the Hawaii transfer. Timeout, allowing Conzo Martin to get it set up. 19 seconds left in the half of a two-point game. Jake from State Farm, if you here, this must be a State Farm commercial. Sure is. It also means it's about to go down. Oh, don't worry, Chris. Things are going to go surprisingly great. Oh, I've been doing this for too many years. It, it means something about to go down. Oh, no. Here it comes. Jake, protect yourself. Have a nice day. I told you. Surprising. Just like State Farm's surprisingly great rates. Who are you talking to? Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. All right, Bill Raftery, what do you want in the last 19 seconds for Mizzou? I want Tilma to touch the basketball. I know they might run a ball screen, but I like him to load up, seal his guy on the block. He's, I think, a very good passer as well. And there's not a double if he can get it at the right time before the double or the rake appears, finish the deal. Delman, 14 points. He had the first four of the game for Missouri, attacking the rim. Only one made three and a half for Mizzou. They still lead by two. So Pinson all the way into the backcourt to get it. Still plenty of time. And he's got Henderson, who's much smaller on him, too. I think it's going to be a durable drive kick. Xavier Pinson gets him going. Reach in foul on Robinson. So the freshman Robinson fouls Ooh. with 6.8. That is his first. A double bonus. Two shots coming for Pinson. I mean, that's Not a good play. Impatient on the defensive end. Benson seven points and had that early assist 15 seconds in. The lob to Tillman at the rim. That was first play of the game, and that is his only assist. He's been solid. Of course, a good free throw shooter, too, at 80%. I like guys like that. This is painful. But they're in touch. Benson's made all of 10 three-pointers on the year. One of them in this first half, and he had one of them early versus Oregon when the Tigers beat the Ducks in Omaha. I like a little passive man to man. Don't let them turn the corner on you. Note attacks. The bump. Offensive foul. Bug slides in and draws the charge on Note. And that is the third on JT Note. Tell you, I'm not so sure about that one. I thought he was by. They're going to get him with the hand push, I guess. Uh, but the contact initiated by the defense. Note in disbelief. Well, that's a consequential one. Two seconds left in the half. Not only giving it back to Mizzou, but then the third on Note. Henson pulls up. And at the half, it is Missouri by three on Arkansas. The 12th. Ranked Tigers come out fighting against undefeated Arkansas. 33 to 30 at the half. Now let's send you to Adam Zucker in New York. All right, Carter, Happy New Year. And coming up here on at t at the Sports College basketball coverage is sponsored by Taco Bell's Nacho Fries. Progressive, save when you bundle auto, home, or motorcycle insurance. And by AT&T 5G, fast, reliable, and secure. 12th ranked Tigers by three on the road against undefeated Arkansas. With LaSalle basketball star Bill Raftery, I'm Carter Blackburn. All right, three-point game at the half, not Arkansas. This actually ties their season low in a half scoring with 30 points. With your astute analysis, you said they were going to get up and down. Well, when's Arkansas mm. going to get going? I'm leaving uh, it to you. Uh, <laughs> I think they've been a little bit timid on the offensive end. I look for them to dribble drive, be a little more creative, get their quick hitters going. Well, Missouri has not been shooting the basketball well the last couple of games, so when the threes aren't going, you attack the rim. As we take a look at our first half stats, brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Only one made three for Mizzou, and yet they have the lead. And all good shots, though. I think Kwanzaa got his message, of course, when you dribble drive, have something in mind. Jump stop, don't make a mistake. Just don't flip that shot up. And how about Mr. Tillman? Nearly a double-double in the first half. Solid. This little hesitation dribble sets him up on that ball screen dive. Send it in, big fella. A 
around that rim. He does so many good things. He just needs more touches. At the other end, Razorbacks got to be creative. Contain the dribble. Stay at home on Tillman to get those hands, get the deflections, get some runouts, and get some easy baskets in here. Not today in downtown Fayetteville. So Arkansas playing without Justin Smith, ankle injury suffered versus Tennessee, out three to six weeks, and floater spins in there for Jalen Tate, but to finish that, Sills and Vanover combined 0 for 11 shooting in the first half, and when you don't have Smith and Vanover and Sills struggling offensively, that's how you get to... Uh, very nice cut, set it up too. Wow, power dribble inside, Brown blocked, Vanover got a hand on it, Tate brings it back. Well, that's a little positive maneuver by Vanover, he's been quiet. Moses Moody, the freshman leading scorer for Arkansas, finds Davis, follows it up, and Davis draws another foul on Mizzou. Devontae. A little more juice going here for Arkansas. This is a tippy-toe armpit block when you're seven foot three. That happens frequently, but the nice little tip to his teammate, and then the good, strong attack to the rim. Diva. And a big foul called on Kobe Brown. That is his fourth. So not even a minute into the second half, Kobe Brown heads to the Missouri bench with four personal fouls. Mitchell Smith comes into the game. He has two personal fouls. They're uh, takes mounting. A good defender, good rebounder. <laughs> Off the free throw miss. Follow will go from Moody, boarded by Tillman. Missed opportunity at the rim. So Drew Smith sets it up for Mizzou. Coming off a blowout loss to Tennessee. Conzo Martin called it a wake-up call, and now on the road. Missouri, who has wins for nice Oregon again. and Illinois, and there's, like you said, Tillman passing. Good things happen when he gets a touch. Let him get a feel, let him squeeze it a little bit. Nice read, too, by Mitchell. Six foot ten, can guard a lot of positions on the floor. The all-time leading scorer for the pointers of Van Buren High School, Van Buren, Arkansas. I don't think you've ever coached there. No, I haven't done a game there. I'm willing. I'm, I'm, putting, <laughs> I'm putting my hand up as if to signify the, the, the number of places you haven't been to call a game, I could probably count on one hand. Well, I love going to Fayetteville over the years when Nola was there, Mike Anderson on the bench with him, and then later the head coach. Of course, you alluded to that championship team. Wallace Williamson. Scotty Thurman. Scotty Thurman. And they followed up with yeah. a finals yeah. appearance the next year as well. A little guard, too. Beck had a great final game, too. Al McGuire was at that championship game. Sure Thanks was to, on the uh, arm. Some help. Tillman bothered it. Xavier Penson brings it back. Penson drops it off. Late pass. Tillman gathers. He's running right the floor. A little injury at the other end. Don't they stop play? Smith got a little shot across the face. Seems to be okay. Which how one? How about <laughs> Mitchell that time? Penson gets a personal. If you're going to do your Missouri game, get your Smiths correct, let me tell you. Right here, just a little hand across the face. They're right there, a little scrape. Mm. Benson got the foul, first personal. But again, two team fouls on Missouri, not even two minutes into the second half. Got him in big time trouble. And over lines it up. See, that's the match. I think could work. He's got to make the shot, obviously. A little pick and pop. Tillman doesn't want to come out there. I think he's got to move Tillman around. This Tillman. kid has really yeah. been some nice play. Bent over two big time attempts. Negate it. Moody step back. Triple toe for Moses. Well, that should set it up to part the C now with the dribble drive. The red one <laughs> for the Razorbacks. Nice hands. Tipped away. Sills gets it started. And now the Hogs oh. answering the call. A good Offensive call. foul it is. Charge on Moody. Oh, really heady. Both of these teams are so well coached. Stepping in. At that time may have been Drew Smith at the other end with good hands. Arkansas much more aggressive defensively. A little bit of a run out here. You think you got an easy one. 
setting up shop early, getting the attention. Third on Moses Moody, but he stays on the floor. So freshman, but he is needed for Arkansas. Again, he's playing bigger today from the three to the four mm -hmm. without Justin Smith. Well, there, as you mentioned earlier in the game, the pods, he's not willing to put different people together. They go very deep, Arkansas. Drew Smith, Penson off the shot fake. Tate was right there with him. Can't get over how solid he has been, Pinson. Mitchell Smith, fight for the rebound. Out of bounds, and Missouri keeps it. Pickett with that aggressive nature. Vaughn Pickett, the junior from Belleville, Illinois, birthplace of Uncle Tupelo. A little hand in the middle of that. Moody's really a good rebounder, too. Nice help by Sill. Should have an offensive rebounding position if they need it. Mm. And there is no Tay, but it is out of bounds. And I mean, it is every loose ball is contested right now. <laughs> so much so that Mitchell Smith is going into the third row. <laughs> he's fighting with the spectators for it. But you mentioned no Tay. I think he's got to be aggressive. Now, he's a volume kind of a guy, very aggressive in his nature offensively. Small crowd at Bud Walton Arena, which helps Mizzou on the road. Mm -hmm. There's a subtle influence, too, with the whistles, where they have a good little standing room only. Fewer people booing. <laughs> no one wants to be booed. Well, we can still hear him right now, though. <laughs> Jalen Tate gets his third. He has that tendency just... Get the numbers in the foul category. He's got to give ground, regain position. So that's three on Tate and three on Moody. He's got to keep driving. Drew Smith gets it right back and fires. Drew Smith with just the second made three of the game for the Tigers. Arkansas are really puzzled as to where to go on this offensive end. That's just his second make in the last four games for Drew Smith. Big That's one. Three in a row, got over unable to convert from deep. Vanover now is 0 for 9 shooting in the game, 0 for 4 from 3. Desi Sill still doesn't have a made bucket. Henson poked away, but a reach in foul. Somewhere in there, and this is a. Big one either way on the Razorbacks, but it finally goes down for Mr. Smith. Not too bad, had a little kick out, the ability to knock shots down, prevailing early. This is the new iPhone 12 Pro with 5G. On the road to the Final Four, it is LSU at Florida next, followed by Mountain West Conference action, Colorado State, at San Diego State, Eric Musselman's old stomping grounds in the Mountain West Conference. Cam Thomas, LSU, one of the most electric players in college basketball this year. Uh, really great to see him. Of course, we talk about this league, how strong it is. Durante Smart. We got Watford and Days on that LSU team. And Florida, Scotty Lewis. He fell to the floor mm. and got up. It was the most amazing exercise I've ever seen. Jumped and landed on his feet. And how about next for the Hogs at Tennessee? I mean, mm -hmm. and this this Chris one's Barnes. big, and Tennessee playing small right now. Arkansas, a lot of penetrating. This kid loves to get to that rim. Sills. Bugs running point for Missouri. Into the hands of Drew Smith, and now Pickett caught off by Williams, creating the turnover. Mm -hmm. That's where you're going to get your game going, little nickel dimer. Reaching foul, Drew. Drew Smith, his third. Unnecessary. You got great balance behind you. So it is foul trouble on both sides. Most notably for Missouri, four fouls on Kobe Brown, but Drew Smith gets his third personal. Speaking of some of the exciting teams around college basketball, how about Rutgers? Yeah. Oh. Harper Jr. and Geo Coleman. I mean, that's Harper was hurt. What a talent mm -hmm. that kid is. And Baker, he just loves to play. Moody. A little bit of a settle. Three. Yeah, boarded by Mark Smith. Could always get that. When they move, dribble drive, move the basketball, they're a different team. Empty side ball screen. 
Drew Smith attacks. An offensive foul on Drew Smith. That is his fourth. Well, they covered the opposite corner pretty good. That's why he didn't have that bailout. Wow. Boy, well coached. Both of these guys get their kids to offer up their body. Well, Moody, even with his foul problems, able to contribute solidly. So Drew Smith to the bench to join Kobe Brown with four personal fouls with a long way to go. How about Moody? I mean, that's your leading scorer, your freshman who's sliding in to take a charge. It's unbelievable. Clearly, both of these teams will take a charge. Absolutely. Committed to it. A uh, small change here. Mm, that's on Bugs. Really not a rhythm to this game right now. So five team fouls on Missouri. Two on Bugs. Uh, you're getting the impression that fouls and free throw shooting are going to loom I large was, in the tight one. You've watched a few games in your days. I learned by watching you, okay? I learned it by watching you. Both teams have two made field goals this half. Tate in tight. Fine Sills. Still over from the floor. It's now over six shooting for Desi. They really don't have that inside presence either. No Smith. Pick it in the paint. Henson brings it out. This is why he has to play to Missouri to be good. With the weave. Watson bounced back to Mitchell Smith. And out of bounds off. Uh, Tate, Missouri will keep it. That weave, by the way, Conzo Martin said he got it. I believe it was the uh, watching a game of the second series in Spain that he picked up this particular weave. Is that right? Right? Yeah. Well, the way both these teams are shooting down, you better get the long rebounds if you're going to win. I don't know whether they're tired, don't have their legs, or not in position, but right now, a little post up, even with a smaller guy, would be adequate. Penson, that was Sills may have gotten away with one there. We got Tillman back in now. Henson, look! Pretty. That's the one that got it started for Mizzou, and now the Tigers have their largest lead. Uh, nobody to match him. Well, he looks fresh, too. He's ready to play. 18 for Tillman. What a great help side defense. Oh. Brown is in there with four fouls for Missouri, so he had to back off around the rim. Pickett really alert. Run it again, why not? This time, Williams cuts it off, and Tillman wants it on the post. Clears it out for Mark Smith. Stepped, stepped, down. Down, stepped on the baseline. A little Turnover. too deep. A nice little ability to gauge the trajectory of the pass, the timing, take a couple extra dribbles, widen. The big fella able to ring that bell. What a solid performance he's had all day long. Gather. And it is a large bell that he's been ringing. <laughs> Arkansas 0 for its last seven. No take. Can't end the drought. Sticking with it. Finally. Get another bucket for the Razorbacks. They got to make it ugly right now, Arkansas, I think. Get up in the shorts. Defend. Be aggressive. Benson on the wing in tight for Tillman. Caught off, drawing two defenders. Jump ball, good play. Uh, tie up, Van Over. Yeah, they need him on the floor. Possession Tillman, in Missouri. Tillman just too tough, too big, too strong for wing players. Why not to get him to Tillman again? Well, they need him inside. Does a great job sealing, but that size of Vanover. Mark Smith, Vanover bothered that one, but Mark gets right through. He was, he was more worried about Tillman. They got a run out. Sills, bump, no basket. How about that for Desi Sills? You finally, the ball goes in the hoop. It's a no basket. <laughs> he can't get a break. That kind of day for Desi. It doesn't come easy every game, so you just got to hang tough. The junior from Jonesboro. Last five games, he's had 17 points, five rebounds, three assists. Some days it isn't your day. Nice ball fake. 
Euro, and then he can't finish again. Desi hits the deck. 0 for 7 shooting for Desi Sills. Henson, tough floater. That's where he gets in trouble, I think. Some ball should be Missouri ball. Brown and Vanover both get it together. CBS Sports HQ always on. Watch with the CBS Sports app. Speaking of sports, how about Ohio State, huh? There's the guy ringing the bell. An aggressive offensive mind. And Tate really provides some juice, too. He really gets into it. Arkansas on the bonus. Just the second on Tillman. And not a great shot blocker. Right? Not, not one of those guys, but you can really get to the rim and slip the pass here and there. Note leads the way to Dave for Arkansas. Comes off the bench, second leading score off the bench, even though changing the starting lineup. Musselman wants him off the bench, and now they may need his scoring in the second half, the way they got it at Auburn. Same play. Benson, Tillman, diving. Tate disrupts it. Ooh, knocked away. Moody got a hand on it. Sills on the run around Penson. They yeah, the fit somewhere in their back. Yeah. Just on the layup. That's what they need. Look at, look at, look at. Wow! The Mustman! Full of vigor, enthusiasm, aggressiveness, the energy! This new year, get the phones everyone wants. The 5G fast analysis, Jeremiah Tillman Jr. from the opening tip. He has been the man involved, oh. being in the right spot, finishing deals for his teammates, but his slip to the tin has been extremely effective and powerful. The first four points of the game for Tillman. 14 and 8 in the first half. 18 and 10 overall in the game. Eighth career double-double. And just the second since he's come back from the stress fracture in his left foot that cost him half a season a year ago. So a double-double versus Bradley. This one means more. Quanzo's really spaced him, too, where he's able to be on the floor a little bit more, getting some stamina. This is the kid. This kid ignites this club. Sills, just aggressive in nature. They got some people on the floor now that can dribble drive. You got Tate, no Tay out there. Still only two points in the game for Desi Sills, both from the free throw line. Arkansas needs somebody to get hot offensively. They do. And Vanover's got to really do it. They cushion that ball screen. He's got to do an effective job to getting any opportunities at the rim and getting back on Tillman. Benson in the corner, the junior point guard from Chicago. Simeon attacks Desi Sills in the paint. Over 7-3, Van Over. There's Xavier Penson. He loves that lane, took a little shot too. Van Over loves that three. Unfortunately, it has not gone down today, and then he compounds it with a foul. Uh, he's really struggling. He had to be content to be on the defensive end and do some damage down there. It was just a really good hesitation here. Freeze and able to convert. And of course, Vanover caught. I think I would have just gone over and snuffed him. Don't worry about Tillman in that case. Let somebody else check. It's just the second on Vanover. He got the first in the first minute of the game. And then his avoided foul trouble to just pick up his second. 0 for 10 from the floor for Vanover. Five of them, three attempts. Brown shot fake. Into the post for Tillman again on Vanover. Digging down from Note. Sets it up for Pickett. Bad miss. Moody brings it back. Sills cut off. Vanover can't finish at the rim, but gets to the free throw line. Uh, at least he ran the floor there. Nice little bailout pass, two by Sills. Get a chance to make both of them. It is punishing trying to play Tillman. Uh, drag you away from the rim quite a bit. I think at the other rim, Missouri can get some little mid-range jumpers with a ball screen because he cushions so much. And then Tillman rolls, you got an open look. A foul was on Pickett, his third. And over three points, all of them from the free throw line. He hit the 
seven what? foot mark in eighth grade did Con over Vanover. What, played one year at Cal. That was Wyking Jones right. after Conzo Martin had left Cal. Wyking Jones recruited him out of Finley Prep and then turned around and came back to Arkansas. Kid, right? Yeah, Robin was a great player in the Southwest Conference days for Arkansas. For a league, I thought, mm -hmm. second, right? Really done your deep dive. <laughs> well, things are slow. I don't want to get any presents. <laughs> little shuffle cut. It is a nice little pin down series. Benson nearly poked away by Tate. Tate's always in for deflections. So here comes a screen from Tillman. There is that little cushion. Don't get too deep. Take it down the baseline, uh, finds Tillman, they left him all alone. And Vanover really never recovered after the initial help. 20 and 10 now for Jeremiah Tillman, nearing his career high in scoring. Note couldn't get it, fight for the rebound. Mitchell Smith, I think, with the grab. There's Moody again. Got to get him perking a little bit. And just ready right to tries to help out. And of course, nobody from the top covers for him. Can't really fault him on that play. They got to get some help side top. Foul is on Mitchell Smith, his third, sending Moses Moody back to the free throw line for two. Mm. This is a surprise, too, with Arkansas struggling at the line. Yeah. Second half at Auburn, they went 20. For 25 on Se the road. 73% yeah. as a team. And this kid over 80. So the offensive woes, not just from the floor. I mean, they're shooting around 60% from the free throw line today as well. So it's an all-around off day for the Rocket Razorback offense. Well, the difference is you've been scouted now and prepared for. You're in the conference. They know all, everything. All the details, what your strengths are, what you can take away. Benson. Razorback fans thought he walked. Because you got Tillman, he ends up with a turnover. Ooh, foul call, looks like he compounded it maybe. It's interesting, you got Tillman loaded up and you dribble at him. Instead of giving it and making a move. And here's the end of that particular play. Nice little hands by Sills. A little giveaway on the side. Previous play is under review. Double check. We're going to the monitor to take a look at this one, and I think what they're going to take a look at is who the foul was called on, because it may have gone in the book as the wrong um, Smith. I, well, there's, that can happen. Mm -hmm. You're never going to have too many Smiths, by the way. Right. But I, I think Mark got involved. I don't know whether you're looking for whether it's a flagrant on the sideline as well. It's not here. It's at the total end of the play. That's just really good defense by Sills. Now on the wing, there's the takedown. Let's take it up. I don't think there's anything malicious on this play. Okay, so maybe it looked like Note, Note and Mark Smith got tangled up. We'll just see how they sort this one out. Oh, his arm gets his neck a little bit. I think that's just a flailing trying to get your balance. That's all caused by not giving the ball into the big guy. With the soundtrack from the Fresh Prince, DJ Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> Take a look at the replay. And again, the, the foul is all the way at the end here. Note and Mark Smith both go down. You saw the little push from Note, but... Only on CBS, CBS do you get a concert as well as a review. Doesn't happen too often. I think they just have to play on it. And we will let you know when we know exactly how they adjudicate this. Doug Chow's. Just a common foul, it looks like. Common foul. And it is on Note. It seems this that's the fourth on Note. It seems this year referees are quicker at the monitor. Would you agree? Or I would agree. Try to get to it quickly. And we appreciate the efforts. Of course, what do you have to... Okay, so Note gets the foul. 
for that little shove at the end of the play. I, either one of those fouls could have gone on Mark Smith or J.D. Note, but right. the bottom line is no flagrant, but it's four on Note, and if Arkansas is going to come back, I mean, you're only down by 6 9 29. You're going to need J.T. Note like Absolutely. he was versus Auburn, but now four personals, that changes things. Mm -hmm. And he's an aggressive player by nature as well. Covington Jordan spent a couple years at Jacksonville U, which is in Florida. A son freshman of the year. Nice little staggered double, little bump off of Tillman. And a lot of stuff on this trip. Penson in the two-man game with Tillman. Penson attacks. Follow. No basket. Fouls on the floor on Vanover. Yeah, so before the follow. Foul on Vanover. And how about Pinson, too? Nice ball control, nothing in a hurry, really patient in the lane. Let's Tillman get to the rim, and then a little bit of a blow by and tag. Pretty. He plays solid through a different basketball team. And that's the third on Vanover. Well, that's what Conzo Martin, uh, shall we say, demanded out of his point guard today because he was not happy with the way Xavier Penson played against Tennessee. Uh, he, he expressed it, but uh, it's another thing to get somebody to listen. This kid's really stepped up today. He's had a real solid game. One of my favorite players when he was at Purdue just to, gave everything he could to help the program. Perfect KD player. And he had a remarkable teammate uh, with the Boilermakers in those days, the big dog. Oh. <laughs> Glenn Robinson, that ties the largest lead for Missouri. Foul trouble all the way around. He's going to go a little later, May a third talk about Matt Painter. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I think Matt would be the first to point out, not, uh, yeah, not in the category of the big dog. Nice cut. Sells misses again. Desi can't get anything. Nice give. Line it up, pick it. Organized, but a tap out, and there's Penson Smart. to give Missouri. Really he needs need some organized. Really didn't need that. You didn't like the quick look from Penson. Run the show. Did a nice job bringing it back. They benefited by Tillman's hustle on that. And we talked about Arkansas before, about putting these players from all over and getting them to play as a unit. It's remarkable. You know, we talked about Cal and Kentucky where they won it, but these kids have played other places. They've got habits, and yet they, he gets them committed to the team effort. Can social media be free from lies, dangerous hoaxes, and slander? You'll want to hear what 60 Minutes found out tomorrow on CBS. But to finish this order, Eric Musselman sits down with each player and wants to know what their ambitions, goals, so that if a kid is really in his mind a seventh or eighth man on the roster and thinks he's going to the NBA, he doesn't recruit that kind of kid, so he, he does his homework early. And he was way ahead of that curve, beginning at Nevada, but he traces it yeah. back to the CBA and the D-League and the beginning of the right. two-way contracts. Well, they you're, kept back and back. Right. You're right. The Reno Bighorns. Did you work their games? <laughs> I did, I've did. i done plenty of games in Reno, but I haven't Other seen Reno. the Bighorns. I was a D-League OG, though, however. <laughs> That's really not his game, that dribble drive, but had that opportunity. I think he's going to get the quick jack. Not one of his better performances. He's got a big upside, though. He could help this team. Just figure it out a little bit. I think they went with Williams. So a frustrating day for Connor Vanover. And now, really, I mean, as we talk about limited capacity of Bud Walton Arena. This is when you could really use the oh, rocket home support. crowd behind you. Right? Well, they get rocket too. Drew Smith triple, largest lead for Mizzou. Maybe one or two bad threes by Missouri. That one was excellent. Stepping into it so much easier. Great sign for the Tigers. That's a blocking foul on Bugs, but Drew Smith, who had been ice cold, and somehow he's found the hot hand here in favor. Uh, get it going a little bit. Why not get those puppies organized? Number 12, this Smith's in love with the tree. If only there was a place nearby you could get one of these. 
CBS Sports College basketball coverage is sponsored by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Jersey Mike subs, be a sub above. And by Allstate, you've never been in better hands. 12th ring, Missouri trying to hand Arkansas its first loss. Tigers have opened up their largest lead, 6-0 start. That was a six-game winning streak, best under Conzo Martin, with the two huge wins over Oregon and Illinois. And, and Illinois is a legitimate big time. Yeah, big time champ, Final Four championship contender. So bragging rights was a uh, extra big one this year for Missouri. Well, when you play Missouri, it's about physicality. And you can see the, I don't want to say frail bodies of Missouri, but somewhat, not intimidating, but influenced and, uh, it, it's really been a problem for them not, not the inside punch that you need and just uh, devastating really Justin Smith not here is a major issue mm -hmm. I think in this particular game I mean you saw those rebounding plus 15 for Missouri and that was the big question without Justin Smith out three to six weeks ankle injury suffered versus Tennessee how the Razorbacks would play without him and clearly they have missed him on the board they sure have rotations and over and not as physical as you have to be against a guy like Tillman. Look at Tillman maneuver. He's really feeder big quick. This is Drew Smith. Backing in on Sills. As he walls off, contests. Great balance though. White shirts unable to get out and run. That's, that's sort of a set. Moses Moody at 16. For Arkansas's leading score. That's an NBA influence, though. The quick hitters are bashed about taking them. Bugs off the bounce. Mark Smith hits the three. And now it's all going down from a zoo. You can't match baskets, score, and get some stops if you're Arkansas. No take in tight. Boy, can't hit it. I mean, Mitchell Smith was backing off. He's in foul trouble, and still no take could hit him. He's six foot ten, though, Carter. A little penetration and find. Get him organized. A little nylon. Boy, the Smiths get loaded up, right? Drew as well. Mark, who spent a year at Illinois, he had back injury. Cost him a month last year. I mean, Missouri really went through it injury-wise a season ago. 7 and 11 in the SEC. So this is a big time bounce back. Tigers getting healthy, including Jeremiah Tillman. That's a reach in foul called on Moses Moody. And that is his fourth. And look at Pinson. I mean, just a great entry. Tillman couldn't secure it for the finish, but great leadership. With all the tapes I've watched of him, he's really been forceful and. Sometimes going in the lane without a mission, but today he has been solid finding his teammates, making great decisions. He had 14 of the first 24 points for Missouri, and he has kept it up. Now 22 in the game, to go along with 11 rebounds, second double-double of the year, the first one right before Christmas versus Bradley when Missouri had a cold shooting game. Credit the Braves, but Tillman has really carried it. That now... Ties his career high. A lot of time off, too, right, with the Bradley game and all these schools. Kids haven't been consistent in their practices. And uh, Smith a little frustrated on that giveaway. That Not the consistency or reps that you'd like as a coach. Mark Smith's fourth. Arkansas, this is the largest deficit of the season for the Razorbacks. They've been averaging 91 points, coming off a 97-point performance on the road at Auburn. But Missouri has muscled Arkansas. They've been solid. Monday night, our favorite neighbors are back with a new episode in the new year. Cedric the Entertainer and Max Greenfield star in The Neighborhood. Watch Monday, 8, 7 central on CBS or stream anytime. I don't know if they have the energy, Arkansas, to really step it up on the defensive end. Let's see they are, though. Maybe a double at half court. No, no run and jump. Well, poked away, however, and Tate nearly went and got it himself. 
is always in the mix, isn't he? Great, great defender. He was the three-time defensive player of the year in the Horizon, Horizon League. League. And John Brandon and Darren Norm, the Norse. Darren Horn, the Norse. Benson draws a foul. Once again, Pinson makes a pretty good decision. He was going to give it to Tillman, but they backed off. Boy, your lead guard is so important. Hmm. Just to set the tone, get your guys in the right spots, make good decisions, protect it, and make free throws. Three assists in the game for Penson to go along with the 13 points. And a big made three because that's been an issue for Xavier Penson is the lack of a three-point shot so far in this his junior year. So we talked about Arkansas's offensive woes with 49 on the board when you're averaging 91, but how much of that is Missouri defensively oh, being intact? Uh, great preparation for them. Took away they again balance on the floors right at the top. We talked about that. Contain the dribble drives. It's just solid. Great help side awareness. First of three on the road to the final four today on CBS. Florida LSU is next. Tate mismatched here, but he did a great job moving the big guy off the box. Xavier Penson step back three. Sills has the board. Now that's a tape review, that one. Tapped, boarded by Mitchell Smith. Nothing at the rim for Arkansas. Physical D from Mizzou. Now, one thing about Smith, he can guard a lot of spots. Mitchell, that is. Great length, great awareness. Eric Musselman believes there was a foul on that last play. Well, even the ball out of bounds, you may not agree with that. Either one, competitive guy. University of San Diego grad. Very thorough. Henson, look, oh, there it is again. Ali Andu, Henson to Tillman. Boy, that's how they started the game, the big fella. Looming large at the rim. Great acknowledgement. Henson, he's got to get more than three assists a game, which is what he's averaging. Williams knocked down. It's a career high and a career game for Jeremiah Tillman trying to lead Missouri to just its second SEC win in Bud Walton Arena. Not too many people win there, as you well know. They can be patient, make good judgments. Clock's their pal. Look at the mismatch inside. No Tay. Mouse in the house on Tillman. He's saying no deal. Penson, the foul at the end. Foul, he'll bail out foul. Wow, right before the shot clock expires. Benson doesn't get it to Tillman, and then ends up getting fouled with one second anyway. Uh, you get two good things. You use the time, you get the ability to get to the free throw line. A frustrated Eric Musselman, and Tate, who's known for those good quick hands, gets a little naughty with the tic-tac. And that is five on Jalen Tate, so... He's fouled out with 4.03, and the frustration all around mounting for Arkansas. He's not happy. He hasn't had a good whistle, though. Jalen Tate fouls out. You're already without Justin Smith, and now down by 12 with 4.03. Short hand to the rest of the way. Now step up in competition here. How you get together next couple of days before your next ball game. All right, so what's the what's the biggest difference you've seen for Missouri? I mean, Tennessee played great, but it was it was a really bad night for Missouri against the Volunteers, and now coming back with a good performance. Organization, I think. Uh, Pinson just been sensational. No bad shots. Balance the floor. Contain the dribble. Check out the ball screen. Very effective with Tillman just creating so many opportunities at the rim. And his hands have been excellent, too. 351 away from Missouri, claiming another terrific win. And it began with Jeremiah Tillman with an exclamation to end it. Ring that bell, big fella. From the game, going 
Toe to toe with Doug Chow's Gerald Williams there as well. He had a few words for Terry Weimer. Musselman has been tossed from the game. This is why I wish when I coached we had face masks. I would have gotten away with a lot more, <laughs> I assure you. But I think he's just frustrated both at his team play, maybe some calls he didn't agree with. But this kid is a competitive son of a gun. And I think in a way, maybe a message for his team, too, that we, we didn't really bring it today. And that's one of those, as a coach, you know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, right? I would say. So That's when you want your AD to be on your side, too. Right. Well, Arkansas has been in this position before because Musselman had to miss action because of contact tracing. So David Patrick, who's the former head coach at UC Riverside, filled in Abilene Christian. He also had Corey Williams, who's been a head coach at Stetson. So, I mean, that's kind of bookkeeping for the last 351. But the point being, Eric Musselman, uh, fire in the belly and ejected with 351 again. Uh, I'm sure they're going to have a little meeting. I bet they may even practice after this game. Mm. You know, time off for the kids and uh, teach them some lessons. So David Patrick steps in as head coach for the last 351, but with little punch offensively from Arkansas. I mean, go over the numbers again and again, but the way the Arkansas offense looked in the first nine games, including Wednesday at Auburn, totally different from what we've seen in this game. It's a surprise of both ways. I'm surprised Arkansas didn't play better to me, and Missouri getting it back together so quickly. I mean, just Tennessee taking them, as they would say, to the woodshed with great defense and obviously shot selection, big-time players. A little slap. I think this might be Mitchell Smith. And what do you know? Foul called on Missouri. He thought it was on him when he's number five. Sure did. <laughs> he sure did. So Moody to the free throw line in what has become a uh, an ornery day for the Razorbacks. Uh, the other thing that you find out too is the year progresses as a head coach. Who your leaders are. I mean, it may be somebody in the games where you're running away from people and things come nice and easy. But now, it's nitty gritty. It's conference time, people are prepared for you. You gotta make good judgments. You gotta pick up the dobber when guys make a mistake or aren't playing up to their norm. When the dobber is down? Yep. My dobber's been down. Well, my wife's dobber's been down for years. Mine's okay. Just a little note here on Arkansas to move on. Vance Jackson Jr., we haven't seen him in the game. No. So, that's a surprise as well. And no more information to give you there on Vance Jackson Jr., the grad transfer from New Mexico, but we haven't <laughs> seen him. Jalen Williams a bunch of minutes. Vince is just having fun now. Hey, it, it, this is just a different, it's a revelation. Uh, the change from the Tennessee game where he's making just terrific judgments. He's got sinewy kind of strength. And how about this finish? And a lot of games I saw earlier this year, he was unable to finish at the rim, so he's really worked hard on it, as well as the coaches, I'm sure. So 22 in the game for Penson. That makes it 23. And that is his season high. So Tillman 25 and 11. Henson backs it up with 23 points and four assists. It was those two who got it started for Missouri. Nice play. Mote makes the goal and then number five, Moody with a nice swipe. They've got to get into this thing. Plenty of time. So you are not counting out the Razorbacks yet. You never count anybody out with a three-point line and you know, talented kids, of which they have a number of them. We learned from Texas A&M and Northern Iowa a few marches ago. A 14-point game with 43 seconds, I believe. Nice ball fake sets up an open look. Williams misses the three, tap out, second chance. Williams right back up with it. See where this one goes. Williams, that score right. and a foul. Nice play by Davis, slapping it out to keep it alive. A little emotion now, getting involved in the game a little bit. Terrific. A little dive to the rim by Williams. So Arkansas fighting back after Eric Musselman ejected during the last timeout. Because right now you're making the free throw, get your defense organized. <laughs>
expecting to see the LSU at Florida game. It is now available on CBSSports.com. We'll get you out to that game as soon as this one is over. Ethan Henderson on the floor. Pretty good hops. Can drive it a little bit. Again, the size matchup with Tillman. Davis rips it away from Drew Smith. Devo on the Pretty. floor to try and get it back. All out fight for the basketball. Won by Arkansas. And a foul. Henderson stuck with it, but it was created by Debo. That's more like Arkansas basketball right now. Showing a lot of heart, being tenacious. The tenacity. And it will swipe, and why not? Dive it at floor. That's how important it is. Right here, a little nickel dimer by Tillman at the rim. So, Ethan Henderson, 6-8 from Little Rock Parkview into the game late for Arkansas. And one of the things Eric Musselman, when David Patrick took over in that Abilene Christian game, one of the things Moss said was, don't worry about what I would have done rotation and coaching-wise. It's your team. Do whatever you want to do rotation-wise. And sure enough, Henderson gets in the game late, gives him a little lift, and Arkansas has some hope for 230. Sure, to get the ball back. Tillman couldn't snare that rebound. Chris Arkansas are really much more aggressive since Eric has been thrown out. I think they, they're concerned about their next meeting with him. Moody in the corner. That would have been big. Smith has the rebound. Mitchell Smith into the hands of Pensy. A little run and jump here. Got to post a little bit. They really have three handlers out here. Makes it tough. Mark Smith into the hands of Davis. Got to go to the rim a little bit. Into the corner, Desi Sills. Yeah. 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 Sills. Timeout, Arkansas has whittled it to 10. It's an 8-0 run for the Razorbacks, trying to come from behind at home to remain undefeated. Since Eric Musselman has been ejected from the game, eight straight for the Arkansas Razorbacks to whittle the lead to 10 as Missouri has to close out would be another impressive win for the 12th ranked Tigers. For those expecting to see the LSU at Florida game, it is now available on CBSSports.com. We'll get you out to that game as soon as this one is over. First, the spunk showed by the coach, I think, invigorated this Arkansas team. They've really been much for a little 2-2-1 now. Ooh. Henson lob ahead, so they beat the press. Nearly got it back from Davis. He has been a disruptor defensively this entire season, the freshman. Still a little bit of his own look. Mark Smith, three. That's a killer. Keep going, attack quickly. Moody sets it up. Henderson rolling. Pick a really solid kid. Sills again. Still on the, oh, he's on the deck now. Desi Sills gets tangled up. So now Penson pulls up the reins. Xavier Penson has to run the clock. I mean, this one still a minute three in Arkansas. It's fighting to the end. Sills takes it away. Sills in the open floor. Foul by Penson. So Missouri turns it over. Desi Sills. Even though the offensive game not there, he is... He's in attack mode, this kid. As this gets involved in the game. Unable to finish at the rim with the bigs, particularly Tillman. But his hands active. Really, the person, pretty good foul here. I think they had an easy loop. And he may have been out of bounds when he got the ball, but uh, regardless, rewarded for the effort, mm -hmm. I guess. Chris, you're looking ahead. Arkansas. Mm-hmm. A little tough schedule. You mentioned Tennessee, Georgia, and LSU, and Alabama. And the Missouris and Mississippi State. Yeah, very Mississippi capable State. Of Mississippi State team. Great backcourt. Ben Howell's got TJ Stewart and Iverson Molinar watching them and a do up front. Tough foe. So Missouri playing keep away now. They've got bugs on the floor as well. Pickett is going to go to the rim with a quick two. Timeout with 48 seconds. Timeout or foul? Well, we will. Got a little slap at the end of that play. Yeah, I guess so. Quick a little whistle, swipe yeah, at so the rim. Pick it a chance at a three-point play. 
Kwanzaa was great to talk to, wasn't he, yesterday? About his team, he's disappointed. It was a big wake-up call for him. You go back a long way with him. Kwanzaa and his uh, family. Yeah. Got to know his mom a little bit. You go back a long way with most folks. I do. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, I've got socks older than you. <laughs> they can wear them today. <laughs> yeah, once a week. Davis gets his second. Now for Missouri, up by 14. And Missouri has two of the best wins in college basketball this year over Oregon and Omaha against sixth-ranked Illinois in the Bragg and Rights game. Now, this one, when you've just lost by 20, the Tennessee to come back on the road. Arkansas is undefeated. They're rolling. And Missouri on the verge. A tremendous win. Daily routines change. Tigers have played tough from the opening tip in Fayetteville, Arkansas today, and they've had to withstand the late challenge from Arkansas, but 40 seconds away, going seven and one, getting their first SEC win of the year and just the second SEC win at Bud Walton Arena. Hard foul there. But well, it's really good coaching when you can get your team go over the mistakes you made against a talented Tennessee team, get them organized, think positive, and not beat them up. I mean, that, that's the key. Like, okay, we got to do these things to be creative, be tough. And of course, Tillman certainly makes you a little more creative the way he played. You just run through a lot of the solid teams in the SEC. Now, we know Kentucky struggles in the non-conference. Don't count out the Cats no. in the SEC. But how do you stack it up for Missouri's chances and Arkansas's chances to come back and try and win an SEC title for the first time since 94? Uh, I don't know about title because that's a long way off as your team grows. But, you know, Missouri is a, is a solid basketball team. And I'm a little disappointed in Arkansas. I, I think they're better than they played today, and I think they will be. You're talking some tough road games in the state. Mm -hmm. I mean, the only win during that stretch you saw was 2014, Missouri. And of course, in this rivalry, they were in different conferences for many, many years, but now together in the SEC. That January 2014, I mean, that's how difficult a road win has been in this series. Nine straight wins for the home team. So this is a lot of streaks ending today for Missouri, and they really brought it. But there's no home court really now. Mm -hmm. Advantage, you know, no crowd. Uh, you know, to intimidate, to make you think a little bit, worry about your shot selection. It's going to be a tough first loss of the season for Arkansas. Eric Musselman wasn't around to see the end of it. But many coaching points ahead. Missouri, the 12th ranked Tigers on the road. A tremendously impressive win over previously undefeated Arkansas. Yeah, really solid. Great organization, great decisions. The ability of Xavier Pinson to be flawless, really, in directing the show. And who can beat three Smiths? So for Bill Raftery, this is Carter Blackburn saying so long. Final score, 81-68, Mizzou. Coming up next, game two of our triple header, LSU at Florida. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports, home of the 2021 Men's National Championship.